Hello and welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss role of vitamins in energy metabolism. This is part two of the previous video, and I have put the link in my description box for uh, the part one. So in this part two video, we are going to discuss role of vitamins exactly in energy metabolism. So that is how vitamins play a role in. Uh, conversion of nutrients to energy so before we start with the function of and the role of vitamins uh, we have to discuss exactly what coenzymes are so coenzymes which you can see here nadh fadh2 these are these are the coenzymes which are derived from different vitamins of vitamin b complex family so whatever food we eat either in the form of carbohydrates fat or uh, proteins uh, we need to oxidize it so that we can get energy from it so the first preferred fuel of our body as you can see here is glucose which we get from carbohydrates so this process of conversion of glucose to atp glucose to pyruvate pyruvate to acetyl coa acetyl coa to atp this is called aerobic respiration and the whole process of aerobic respiration requires multiple coenzymes like nadh fadh2 and without these coenzymes it's difficult to extract atp from glucose also if you can see here glycogen conversion to glucose so whenever we require energy from glycogen we have to convert to glucose so all these processes require coenzymes and these coenzymes are derived from vitamins in fact when we have to derive energy from fat the process called beta oxidation that also requires multiple coenzymes again derived from vitamins so let's see one by one what is the role of vitamins in energy metabolism starting with vitamin b1 that is also called thiamine it is an essential cofactor in the conversion of carbohydrates to energy so the coenzyme is called tpp thiamine pyrophosphate it is needed for normal muscle function including the heart muscle and is involved in oxidative carboxylation reactions which also require magnesium ion as a cofactor the food sources from which we can get thiamine is meat fish and whole grains it is also added to breads cereals and baby formulas next vitamin we have vitamin b2 also called riboflavin the coenzyme which is derived from riboflavin is called fad flavin adenine dinucleotide and fmn flavin mononucleotide FAD can be seen in lot of reactions of aerobic respiration and TCA cycle beta oxidation in fatty acid uh, oxidation it functions as a cofactor in the mitochondrial respiratory chain helps in the release of energy from food and the main food sources from which it is derived are mushrooms soya bean nuts and almonds vitamin b3 also called nicotinic acid it is transformed into nad and nadp nicotin adenine dinucleotide and nicotin adenine dinucleotide phosphate so it's basically nicotinamide dinucleotide so which may play a key role in oxidation reduction reactions in all cells so it is usually co uh, linked with enzymes like dehydrogenase the food sources are cereals seeds meat fish and tuna <clears throat> vitamin b5 also called pantothenic acid it plays an essential role in the krebs cycle and acts as a component of coenzyme a the food sources include broccoli sweet potatoes beans and eggs this coenzyme a is required in the 
a conversion of pyruvate to acetyl CoA the enzyme linked is pyruvate dehydrogenase and multiple other reactions also in aerobic respiration vitamin b6 also called pyridoxin it helps in the release of energy from food again and it is used as a cofactor by nearly 100 enzymatic reactions mainly in protein and amino acid metabolism the food source include pistachio nuts sesame seeds and chicken the next vitamin is folic acid folic acid again is a very important vitamin because these folates function as a family of cofactors that carry one carbon units required for the synthesis of thiamidylate purines and methionine so they have been found as very essential in purine biosynthesis folate is essential for metabolic pathways involving cell growth replication and survival of cells in culture around 30 to 50% of cellular folates are located in the mitochondria and the food source include animal liver seafood eggs whole grains and beans next vitamin we have vitamin b12 and it is essential for metabolism of fats carbohydrates as well as for synthesis of proteins it interacts with folic acid metabolism and the food source include poultry diet dairy products red meat liver and fish next is biotin it acts as a cofactor involved in metabolism of fatty acids amino acids and utilization of b vitamins the food sources include beef liver salmon avocados sweet potato and nuts vitamin c so we have already discussed now vitamin b complex family of vitamin b complex the last vitamin of water soluble vitamins are vitamin c also called ascorbic acid and it is essential for synthesis of carnitine carnitine is that transporter which is required for transport of long chain fatty acids into mitochondria and catecholamine adrenaline and noradrenaline it facilitates transport and uptake of non heme iron the reduction of folic acid intermediates and the synthesis of cortisol it acts as a potent antioxidant and the food sources include citrus fruits oranges kiwi lemon grapefruit bell peppers strawberries and tomatoes so that's all about the water soluble vitamins and their role in energy metabolism i hope you liked my video do subscribe to my channel and share to your friends thanks for watching